All right, so I want to answer this question once and for all. When you're debating whether or not you want to start a career in cybersecurity, half the advice tells you it's too late. There's no entry-level roles in cybersecurity. You'll never find a job in cybersecurity without experience. But the other half of advice out there that you see is that all you need is your CompTIA Security Plus and you're guaranteed to get a job. While both sides of this debate have good points, they're both very far from the truth. So here's what you need to know before starting a career in cybersecurity. First things first is cybersecurity is not an easy, get-rich-quick career, no matter what someone may be telling you or trying to sell you a course on. And not every career in cybersecurity is going to start with a six-figure salary. I'm 100% transparent about my cybersecurity salaries since I started my career, but everyone is going to come from different experiences, different backgrounds and educations, and your salary is going to reflect that experience along with the sector that you're going into, the size of their company, and their budget for their cybersecurity team. If someone is telling you that starting a career in cybersecurity is going to guarantee you a $100,000 salary right when you graduate from a boot camp or a degree program, then you already know that is a red flag, it is definitely possible to get a six-year salary as you go on in your cybersecurity career. So while it isn't impossible, it doesn't mean that it's the case for every single person who starts a career in cybersecurity. Cybersecurity is not get rich quick or get rich easy, no matter how many courses may be telling you that. And this is another thing I get comments on very often. Specifically, I want to call out this comment where this person was looking for a cybersecurity role and they said cybersecurity is not entry level and they've been on the job market for a year and have not had any luck in getting a job in cybersecurity. I'll also share my response to this comment, but my biggest thing is if you graduated from a boot camp, maybe study for your security plus, that is not all it takes to make your resume stand out to a hiring manager. In fact, think of all the other students who are also graduating from your cohort, whether it be from a degree program, which could be hundreds or thousands of students, or graduating from a cybersecurity boot camp or other tech boot camp that could have tens or hundreds of students in their cohort as well. All these entry level candidates are fighting for the same roles. And by the way, I recently made a video on entry level cybersecurity jobs. So it's not all on the candidates, but it's also on the companies. I'll link that video down in my description if you want to learn more about where entry-level jobs are going, but essentially it's thousands, tens of thousands of candidates all fighting for the same 5% or less of the job market that is entry-level. So yes, I do agree, as a beginner in cybersecurity, you should at least have some online courses, boot camps, or degrees on your resume so you have that educational foundation down. Next up, yes, certifications. The Security Plus is a great one to go for since it's the most popular cybersecurity cert. If you're completely new, then the Google cybersecurity certification. I've also made other videos on entry-level cybersecurity certs that are more specialized. For example, example, EJPT or TCM certs for Red Team, and the Blue Team Level 1 or the Hack the Box Certified Defensive Security Analyst Certification. But this, I find, is where most people stop. Just using this comment as an example, this person mentioned that once they see that they don't have the skills or experience that a job listing is looking for, they just move on and don't apply to the job. But my advice to you here, and this is also advice I've been sharing on my channel for years and years, is the fact that you should go through three to four of these cybersecurity job listings that you're interested in, let's say for a security analyst, and then check to see which skills are overlapping across those job listings. This will give you an idea of what hiring managers are looking for in their candidates. I would say look for the top three skills that overlap. For example, it could be using SIEMs, it could be SOC experience, it could be using a threat intelligence tool, whatever overlapping skills for the role that you're interested in. And now here's the key thing, get experience using these skills through technical personal projects. Yes, as an individual student, you may not have access to an enterprise tool, but you can most likely find an open source version of that tool that you can spin up in your own home lab. This is another reason why I really like cybersecurity because of the fact that there's so many open source community edition and free tooling that you can use without even ever working as a security analyst. You can create your own SIEM. You can create your own SOC lab. Get the hands-on technical experience on your own, put that on your resume, and use that to stand out to employers that, hey, I'm doing this on my free time. I'm interested in learning cybersecurity tooling. I'm interested in sharpening my skills in cybersecurity. And these projects are what I have to show for it. This will make you 100% stand out than probably 90% of other cybersecurity candidates. I'm not saying that you have to cater a resume to every single job that you're applying to, but it really does help when you have something on your resume. So when a recruiter looks at your resume, it's not just bootcamp or a degree, security plus, and then maybe some part-time experience that isn't related to tech at all, which is something that I see in so many resumes that I come across. Remember that your resume is only put in front of the hiring manager for just a few seconds for them to decide whether or not they're interested in talking to you. And even worse, when you think of the ATS systems or the applicant tracking systems that weed out your resume if it doesn't have the keywords that the hiring manager is hiring for. And you'll completely bypass that by taking my advice and working on technical projects so that you can write about them on your resume and already have those keywords on there so that you can actually get your resume in front of a real person. There are plenty of online resources that you can use to your advantage in CTF challenges, in online courses, in technical cybersecurity projects, labs, 
open source tooling, even getting involved in B-sides and cybersecurity conferences can already make your resume look so much better than the typical cybersecurity candidate. As you can see, this is something I'm really passionate about, but my biggest piece of takeaway advice is don't just stop at getting the certs. Do the hands-on training, get your hands dirty and get some technical experience, and don't just rely on an employer or a company to give you that training because nine times out of 10, companies won't even look your way if you don't have some sort of technical experience on your resume. And it doesn't necessarily have to be internship experience or previous IT or cybersecurity experience. It can also be project experience. And that's something I don't think people do enough of. But as a beginner, your biggest advantage is the fact that you're learning way more than someone who may already be years or decades into their career. And you're able to prove to an employer that you're self-motivated. Yes, I still believe that cybersecurity is a great career option, even in the midst of tech layoffs that seem to be ramping up again. These layoffs definitely don't impact cybersecurity as much as other sectors in tech. But personally, as someone who is on LinkedIn every day, I see that people are still getting entry-level jobs. I see people utilizing their network, reaching out to hiring managers, going to networking events, and using that to their advantage rather than just applying to a job online and hoping to hear back, which cold applying to a job application is going to be nowhere near as effective as just putting yourself out there at networking events, at B-sides, at cybersecurity conferences, at connecting with a hiring manager on LinkedIn and reaching out, just letting them know that you apply to this role, why you're interested in it a little bit about you so that when they're looking through that stack of resumes they're going to be keeping an eye out for your name because you reached out to them on linkedin and this is an exact story that i recently read on linkedin for someone who applied to a job reached out to the hiring manager who posted the job and thank them for posting it and let them know that they applied not every candidate is going to go above and beyond and do that so the hiring manager is going to remember this person's name and not to mention that he already put in the work to get his resume to stand out to a hiring manager did the prep to pass his interviews and then finally got the job offer but first if you're watching this video and you're looking to transition into a career in cybersecurity, I check out the Simply Learn postgraduate program in cybersecurity. This program is perfect for anyone who's already graduated with their bachelor's degree, even if you have no technical background or experience, but are looking to pivot into cybersecurity from a non-technical role. The Simply Learn postgraduate program in cybersecurity is designed with modules from the MIT Schwarzman College of Computing and the EC Council. This is a six month fully online bootcamp that was rated 4.5 stars on SwitchUp as part of this program, you'll attend live masterclasses delivered by faculty from MIT, get access to the learning kit, exam voucher, and learning module exclusively from the EC Council, be part of the MIT CSAIL professional programs community to interact with other peers, as well as complete four industry case studies covered by MIT professors. This program will help you learn comprehensive approaches on how to secure data and infrastructure, including risk analysis, mitigation, and compliance. This along with 25 plus hands-on cybersecurity projects to help boost your technical experience and add on to your resume or project portfolio when you start applying to cybersecurity jobs. The live lessons also cover the latest AI trends and how this impacts cybersecurity roles, including generative AI and prompt engineering. You'll also get to work on a final capstone project that covers three different cybersecurity domains taught by industry experts. Along with the EC Council learning kits and exam voucher, you'll also get six months of free access to the CEH labs and 24 hacking challenges from the EC Council. So what does the full learning path look like? You'll start off designing systems to secure applications, networks, and devices, design and manage the overall security posture of an organization, build a hacker mindset and how to defend against cyber attacks, complete the technology application and policy course presented by the MIT Schwarzman College of Computing before finally completing your cybersecurity capstone project and your cybersecurity and generative AI masterclasses. The skills covered as part of the postgraduate program are advanced hacking concepts, IDS firewalls and honeypots, software development security, security assessment and testing, network packet analysis, cryptography, risk management, ethical hacking, network security, identity access management, as well as mobile and web technologies. You can check out their learner reviews directly on their website, as well as the application process, and selected candidates can begin the program within one to two weeks. The next cohort starts soon, and I'd recommend checking it out in the link in my description if you're interested in learning more. You can and also get a 10% off scholarship for the program using my code SANDRA10. And with that, let's get back to the rest of the video. I think there's some statistic out there that for most people in their careers, they get leads or job opportunities from people in their network, not necessarily cold applying to a job listing. I'm not saying that you should chase people down on LinkedIn and, and ask for referrals from random people that you just connected with, but I do think that using LinkedIn smartly and using it to your advantage to network, not necessarily push people for referrals, is a great way to go about the job application process and will get you a lot farther than just clicking an easy apply button on a job listing. All right, my main goal of this video was to spark some conversation around this since I know there are people on both sides of the camp for there are no more cybersecurity jobs and don't even try, but there are also other people who are like, cybersecurity is perfect and, and everyone starts at a six-figure salary, which is completely not true. 
I'd say I'm still an optimist when it comes to the overall cybersecurity sector and landscape. But if you're someone who is looking to start a career in cybersecurity, I want to be as realistic with you as possible. This is still a really great career with great job security, very decent salaries, and great opportunities for those who are willing to put in the work for technical experience and putting in the work for networking for a job. But again, it is not all rainbows and butterflies and no one is going to guarantee you a job and no one can make you put in the work to, to get technical experience working on hands-on projects, to study for the certifications, to put yourself out there and go to B-sides and go to networking events. At the end of the day, that is all up to you. All right, that is it for this video. Let me know your thoughts on this in the comments below. I would love to hear them. Don't forget to join our Discord channel where we have conversations and discussion about these kinds of topics for cybersecurity careers, certifications, GRC, et cetera. I also have my free cybersecurity career guide linked in my description below as along with my cybersecurity newsletter sharing real-time information about the cybersecurity job market. Don't forget to check out the Simply Learn postgraduate program in cybersecurity if you're interested and hopefully I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!